today we're going to make some smoked salmon candy the Bradley way. The recipe is quite simple. The process is a little more involved, but the real magic happens in my brand new P10 professional Bradley smoker. The first step is making the brine. The recipe is really simple. It's only five ingredients. One of them is water. You add a tablespoon of salt to a cup of water, mix it all up. You have a cup of demerara sugar, half a cup of maple syrup, and one cup of honey. So we'll take the salt water mixture, simply dump it into the bowl here. We'll follow that with the uh, demerara sugar. And this is, uh, watch it doesn't splash all over the place. There we go. Next comes the maple syrup. And last but not least, add the honey. There we go. The recipe is quite simple. This will make about five pounds of salmon. If you have 10 pounds, double it. It's pretty easy to figure out. And we'll just stir it up until it's nice and consistent. It's like a thick syrup almost. The sugar doesn't even have to dissolve all the way because it certainly will once you add it to the salmon. Next, we're going to prepare the salmon. These are sockeye salmon fillets. They're previously frozen, so they're going to be a little bit mushy compared to what a fresh fillet would actually be like. We're just going to check it for bones, and uh, then we're going to remove the skin from the meat. After that, we're going to just cut it into finger-sized chunks. Now, the size of the chunks is actually fairly important because we're going to slide these chunks right through the mesh of the smoker rack and suspend them using toothpicks. So, if they're too big, they won't fit. If they're too small, they'll just maybe break and fall through. Okay, let's just load it all gently into a nice container that's gonna sit in the fridge for the next couple of days. And we'll add our brine. So just very gently massage all that beautiful brine into the salmon. We're gonna do this a couple of times a day for the next two days. It's gonna sit in the fridge for two days covered. And uh, about two or three times a day, come in, massage it, make sure that we're mixing the brine into the, into the salmon. So I have a little tip today. Uh, I realized a little too late after I got swanked up for a little meeting I have this morning that I still have to mix up the, uh, the salmon. So what I'm going to do is really pretty simple. I'm going to take a plastic bag, put it over my hand and uh, that will allow me to mush it up. There we go. So now, rather than take it out as well, I'm just gonna leave it hanging on the side, put the lid back on, we're done. Okay, so this has been in the fridge now for 48 hours. Stirred it about two or three times a day for the last two days, and it's Soaked up a lot of the brine. It's uh, looking really good. Uh, definitely a different color than when we put it in. So now it's time to drop it through the rack. I've got a real simple setup here. You can improvise if you want, but I've, I've just got two Tupperware containers and I've got the rack sort of across a cookie pan with a little bit of wax paper on it to help keep it clean. And this is a messy job, so I'm gonna actually wear some gloves this time. Toothpick and a piece of salmon. Stick it through the salmon, drop it through the hole. We're gonna rinse and repeat through the whole rack. It may seem like a big extra step, but honestly, if you don't suspend all these little pieces of salmon from the rack like this, what happens is during the smoking process, they'll stick to the rack, and when you go to take them off at the end of the process, you'll lose half your meat. So really it's a, it's a good idea to just let them hang. You get a great smoke around them and uh, easy to clean up. So the salmon's been in the fridge now for about 30 hours. Time to get smoking. 